Hello, my name's Zoe. We're going to spend some time together over this series of videos while I help you learn some of the skills you'll need to enjoy a friendly or even a competitive game of tennis. I'm a level four tennis coach. I've been coaching tennis in Mid-Sussex for the last 17 years. In fact, I might recognise some of your faces. I wonder if some of you have been on the tennis court with me before. I work here at Hurstby Point Tennis Club. It's just behind the high street in the village. Let me show you around. You can see behind me we've got three tennis courts here. They're made of tarmac. They've all got floodlights so we don't have to stop playing when it gets dark. You can't see from where you are but behind the camera I've got a beautiful view of the South Downs. I can see Jack and Jill Windmills, I can see Wollstonebury Hill and Devil's Dyke. Over there, that's our clubhouse. Let me show you inside. Here we are inside our cosy clubhouse. It's closed at the moment, apart from access to the toilet. But when it's open again, if you're a member of the club, you can hang out in here with your friends after your game. Let's take a look at some of the equipment we're going to need for these videos. First of all, you need somewhere you can play tennis. We're really lucky in Mid-Sussex because there are lots of parks with courts that we can hire. In Adastra Park in Essex, there are three tennis courts you can hire just by popping into the pet shop on the high street. Or you can go online to book tennis courts in the parks in Burgess Hill and Haywards Heath by logging on to clubspark.lta.org forward slash tennis in Mid-Sussex. If there's four of you playing on a court, it will cost you less than a pound each. If you haven't got a tennis court you can use, just enough space to swing your racket safely will work well. Maybe your driveway, or if you live at the end of a quiet road. If you can't think of any tarmac you could use, just a piece of grass will work in your garden or your local green space. The tennis courts at Wimbledon are made of grass. Wimbledon's the biggest and the best tennis tournament in the world. So if grass is good enough for them, then it's good enough for us as well. If you're not on a tennis court, you're going to need something to be your net. You could use a bench in your garden or your local park. Or you could just put a couple of school bags down and hit the ball over those. You could lay out a towel and use that as your net as well. You'll need a tennis racket. This is mine, but if you haven't got a tennis racket, then any kind of racket will do. This is a racket ball racket, or you could use a squash racket or a mini tennis racket. You could just use a bat from your beach bat and ball set or you could just use the palm of your hand. The last thing you're going to need is a tennis ball. Hopefully at school your teachers have got lots of tennis balls that you could use. But if you're at home and you haven't got a tennis ball, then any kind of small ball will do. As long as it's a similar size and it's soft and they'll work. But if you haven't got any tennis balls, you could just bundle up a pair of socks and make yourself a ball that way. That's everything we're going to need. Let's get started. <laughs> 